Hi! Thank you so much for joining me today in one of, at least one of my favorite videos to watch. It's the Pandos Eyeshadows Project. If you've never been here before, my name is Anna. I'm uh, from Norway. I do panning and makeup stuff and I'm here today in sunny Oslo to film my update number three. I think. Yeah, because I did my intro in the mid-January and then February, March, now we're in April. This video is a week late, but um, I was late last month as well, so it pretty much adds up, makes it somewhere around four weeks between each update. So um, I'm really happy I was actually able to film today because I made some nice progress. And as you might have seen in the title, I'm rolling in three new shades which is really exciting. I'm really, really excited to get a little bit of a different color story. So, first things first, Panos Eyeshadows is a project pan that was created by Alexandra Sjösten here on YouTube, and she is just the cutest Swedish YouTuber, and she's not doing it anymore, but she created it, and I'll have her link down below. And it's pretty much just hitting pan on as many eyeshadows as possible that you randomly select into the project. So I use an app to find the shades that I'm going to be working on and then I try to hit pan on them. Or I made my own rule that if I've used an eyeshadow 30 times and I'm, I'm, I feel like I won't be able to hit pan anytime soon, um, I can choose to roll it out if I want to. So I tally all of the, every time I use these eyeshadows, I write a little line so I know how many times I've used them before I hit pan and I think that's everything. Um, I'm now going to show you the eyeshadows. And the first thing is the really exciting one. It's the eyeshadow that I hit pan on that I have been working on since the beginning. This was such a hard eyeshadow to hit pan on. It's absolutely insane. I used it 21 times this month, uh, and I used I did my eyeshadow pretty much every day, except for a couple of days, uh, and 21 times is quite a bit. But in total, I used it since the beginning um, 67 times, which is insane. So this is the eyeshadow I'm talking about. It's Mac Grain, and as you can see, I actually have pretty much like a double pan. Um, I pan on this one today, uh, which I, I know I was close like this last, probably like the last two weeks, I felt like I was really really close. Um, and then when I went to use it today, I was kind of bummed that I hadn't hit pan before this update. And then I just used it as normal in my inner corner under my brow bone. And then I suddenly saw a little bit of pen and then I used a little more. And then suddenly we have actually decent pan so that just goes to show how close I was uh, these last couple of days uh, and I'm really happy to be able to roll that one out it's a really nice under the brow bone highlight but it's a little like the base of the eyeshadow is a little too dark but it's really, really it's shimmery so it works but like the base color of the eyeshadow is just a little too like pinky too little too dark for my skin tone uh, so it's not my favorite like highlighting shade but it has worked really well so I also really liked it on my face actually to just give a subtle highlight on the cheekbones but yeah that one is gone and then the other one uh, that I have to show you is uh, something that I will roll out it's from the Becky G by Colourpop yeah, so it's the Colourpop palette by Becky G. It's called Salvaje. And it's this shade right here called Malbec. So you won't be able to see the dip, I think. Uh, well, that might be because there's not really any dip in this. Uh, I can see that I've used it a little bit. It's really like dry and shock sh shocky dry and flaky. It's a dry eyeshadow. 
Um, and I've used it 18 times this month, which totals to 36 these last two months. I rolled it this in in the beginning, but I didn't use it at all the first month. And then I started using it, and I've used it 36 times since, which is enough for me. Uh, I don't feel like I need to use this anymore. I'm, I won't be able to pat on this eyeshadow. I would rather use a dark brown that is nicer than this one. So this is also getting rolled out. And then I've chosen to roll out one more shade. I mentioned this previously that my um, the matte eyeshadows in my Urban Decay Born to Run palette are just absolutely pain to try and pan because they are tightly packed and really pigmented and just I was not going to do it but it's this shade right here called Baja and I used it 17 times this month and a total of 33 times uh, I'm I've been wearing orange eyeshadow quite a bit and I'm really sick of it now and it has a little bit of a dip but it's nothing remotely close to pan so I'm just glad to have this one gone and um, we'll roll something else in hopefully something that's not orange that would be nice uh, and then I picked last month I picked a new shade which was Urban Decay Stranded from the same palette and that's this one right here which is an easier shade because it's shimmery but I have to say it's probably not my favorite in this palette um, it's just a nice like gold shade it's I, I guess it's really basic and nice really easy to use but especially paired with the orange I felt like it just wasn't a look that I loved so I feel like now that I can pair it with other eyeshadow other matte eyeshadows like today I used a more like pinky warm pink color uh, I like that better and I can also layer it on top of I've tried layering it just on my hand on top of the green one from the palette Wonderlust they look gorgeous together and I also tried using it with Big Sky which is down here and it's just, it's a nice shade to layer on top of something else. It's mainly shimmer and it doesn't have that much of a base color. Um, so I think that I will be able to pan on this one, but it will probably take a while. So I'm excited to keep working on it, but I hope that I can find some new fun ways to use it. Actually, one of the favorite looks that I did, did this month was using it along with uh, Smog from this palette. And it gave me a really like Urban Decay Naked vibe because Smog along with Half half Baked and then Naked and Buck in the Crease used to be my absolute favorite look back in the day, probably like almost 10 years ago. But yeah, I like that one because it was like brown. It was a smoky brown look with a little bit of gold. It looked nice. Uh, and then... The last shade is Tarte Funny Girl, which I used six times this month because I was really focusing on grain, which means I've used it a total of 19 times. And it's this one. So there is definitely um, some usage in this. and But I'm not really sure how deep these pans are, so we'll see when I hit pan. But now that grain is out of the way, I can start focusing a lot more on this, even though I feel like this is a little too chunky to use as a uh, brow bone highlight. So I'll probably use it mainly in my inner corners and maybe as a topper on top of something else to lighten it. I don't know. I'll find some way to use it because I prefer using it only in the inner corner and it will take a while if I'm only going to use that tiny little bit and uh, I'm just gonna show talk to you about my spreadsheet real quick before I pick three new eyeshadows because I made a mistake which means um, my percentage of pan uh, looks like it hasn't really changed much um, but I have 
brought in a couple of new eyeshadows and I have decluttered a couple so my number of 200 and how much is it 294 eyeshadows is what I currently have it's been kind of consistent at least uh, but I have one new eyeshadow palette in April and also two new single eyeshadows so if I pick those that will be hard because those are brand new but um I'm excited about what I pick. So I currently have like about 2.4% of my eyeshadow collection has pan in it and I have 7 pans. Well, technically I have 8 but one of the eyeshadows that I have pan in is not in this project. It's the MAC Sexy Eyes from the Sharon Osbourne quad that I've talked about before. So, um... No, actually I have one eyeshadow less now because, yeah, we're just gonna pick the eyeshadows because I have put them all in my Tiny Decisions app, which is my absolute favorite app in the whole world. That is probably not true actually, but I like this app, it's neat. Uh, and I have my eyeshadows like this, and then we're now going to on camera if you will be able to see this we're going to find out which one it is it is something from Colourpop not really sure which I think this comes from one of my slightly newer palettes let's find out Yes, um, I actually had a feeling. I remember someone else having this shadow in. It's called YC, I C Y M I, I C Y M I. It is this one, and I've used this one a couple of times. I've also obviously did my nail in this, so. I'm guessing this is one that I won't be able to pan on, at least not um, anytime soon. But it's a really, really nice eyeshadow, and um, I'm excited to start using this one. Uh, this is from the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette, by the way, and um, it's a really nice palette. And I haven't been using it that much because it's pretty new. So that is the first shade. I'm going to swatch them all in the end so you can see my new color scheme. Okay, good start. It's a matte eyeshadow, but hey, we can work with that. Next one is Tart Sweetheart. Okay, that must be from this one, yep. Yeah. So that's another shade from my Tarte Lit in bloom palette and it's actually the one next to the one that's already in this project which is convenient but this is um, another matte like pinky shade but lighter than the Colourpop one so I guess I can use them both um, I just can't believe I'm getting such like easy neutral shades this one also still has the Tarte embossing on it so uh, it looks like I haven't used that one much okay next and the third eyeshadow is wow makeup geek anarchy which is definitely different than um, the other shades I've had in this but it also fits in perfectly with the color scheme I think it's this one Yep. So I just have a little nine pan with the old Makeup Geek eyeshadows. These were the ones that were left when I decluttered quite a bit of them. And this is Anarchy. So it's just a pinky purple type of eyeshadow. Uh, I'm going to swatch these and we can see what we are working with. Because this is going to be an interesting color story 
So here they are. I have Tart Funny Girl, Urban Decay Stranded, the Colourpop eyeshadow in whatever it's called, I C Y M I, I think. And then this is Colourpop, nope, Tart Sweet Heart. And then this is Makeup Geek Anarchy. So those are the eyeshadows I'm working on. So that's it for my Pandas eyeshadows update number three. And I am happy to work on these eyeshadows for the next month and we'll see how much I how much progress I can make. And I will see you with my next update in sometime mid-May. And I hope that you are staying safe and enjoying your days as much as possible. I will see you in my next video. Bye!